What is something porn normalized? Ducking rough and hard all the time. Speaking English during sex. It's effing weird, me and my girlfriend are Swedish yet we still speak English. Oh duck, yeah and so forth. From what I gather ATLE some of our friends do the same thing. For some reason I find this hilarious. HH Fake J Pretty sure I saw one of those in Ikea. I think porn has normalized a lot of sexual standards. The whole idea of porn is for it to look good. Not feel good. Unfortunately for a lot of people porn is how they learn about sex. Porn is to sex, as kung fu films are to fighting. This is what I came here to see. I hate explaining why I roundhouse my wife in the face after sex. Having a cable guy show up when they say they will. They never fix the cable though, so that's pretty realistic. Adding porn at the end of words meaning a collection of images. Food porn and car porn isn't what I was looking for. Obnoxious moaning faking. Those ducking fingernails. Not my pussy girl. I swear every time I click on lesbian porn and they've got ducking talons I become drier than the Sahara. Have the pizza delivery guy able to stay a whole hour by your place as if they don't have any other deliveries to make. Customer service sometimes means you gotta service the customer. One does not simply slip it into the back door without proper preparation leave consent. I've seen way too many videos where the guy just awapses it into the back door and after a moment of om WTF they're just on board with it. Nah, that ain't how it works. Edit, I don't know if I should be proud or ashamed that my top upvoted anything on Reddit is about anal, but here we are. On a similar theme people alternating between anal and vaginal. That's how you get a U-tie. V2 a good A2 bad ATV off-road fun. A2M equally ATM dollar. Guys think if they touch my vagina I'm going to start moaning an uncontrollable pleasure. Obviously you gotta press the clit first. Duh. You click it in to start the water works. Everyone knows that's how it works s. Don't forget to wait until the woman makes the windows vista sound. I think that it's made a lot of anal stuff way more mainstream. As well as the current trend of cock gagging w the whole crying makeup running. That whole thing def started in porn. I was at a wedding a few weeks back where one of the guests managed to start a sentence with as a guy who eats ass. In a regular table conversation. I don't judge, but the casualness of it was impressive in a way. What was the rest of the sentence? I'm hoping it was his voting intentions, or favorite route to work, or anything similarly unrelated. Something about his preferences in the context of some other, non-sexual topic. To be honest, I was too busy digesting the first part of the sentence to really pay attention. Also, I may have been drunk, it was that kind of wedding. It's a great way to stop people listening to your main point. As someone who eats ass, I'm stealing it and never crediting you. The idea that sex is supposed to always be this super intense serious thing. Like I can't even watch most porn because no one ever smiles or laughs or is actually flirty or just acting normal and having fun. They always act like two gladiators who have to duck battle each other to the death or something. Even when they're obviously trying to portray like passionate intensity it comes off just as anger and aggression and robotic and it's fucking weird and makes it impossible to connect to the moment. Real sex is often awkward and fumbling and funny and flirty and that is part of the fun realness of it. I don't want to watch two battle sex droids hate hammer each other like their genitals or a particle accelerator attempting to smash an atom. Edit, this even extends beyond porn in some ways. Like say Victoria's Secret or Sports Illustrated swimsuit models and things like that. The ads are very often this dead serious Zualanderesque blue steel thousand yard death stare to portray sexy but then you see a behind the scenes clip of the same girl being a lovable goofball having fun and being herself. Like why not use those pictures of the person having a good time or laughing at her own blooper? I'd argue that is just as sexy, if not more so, than the super intense death stare. You can be flirty and goofy and having fun and still be sexy. To know where this idea came from that sexy has to be intense and serious all the time. I don't want to watch two battle sex droids hate hammer each other like their genitals or a particle accelerator attempting to smash an atom. Her brand new sentence. Bukake is a normal Japanese word that you might yell out when buying udon. I live in what is essentially the world epicenter of udon restaurants and believe me you really notice this. 
Kakeru is a verb that means to put on top or, as in putting on a topping, and bu acts like a superlative. So bukakuru means to put on top or a lot or something like that. Bukake is a noun from the verb, and bukake udon or bukake meshi usually mean a dish with a big amount of toppings or egg poured on it. If you watch anime you might have heard words like bukarosu, kill a lot, or butabasu, send flying beat up a lot. It sounds stupid in English so they're usually translated to something like destroy or beat to a pulp. Where had you been all these years? Watching anime I assume. The facial, don't get me wrong, I'm not against it lol, just think its popularity is high because of porn. I have never, ever, understood why so much porn is 20 plus minutes of foreplay and sex, and it ends with just some guy jacking it on his own. Like, why am I even here? If I wanted to see some sad guy jacking it on his own, I can look in a mirror. Cause they've been shooting for hours so his dick is desensitized as hell, and he gets paid extra for the cum shot. Imagine how that conversation goes. Director, and if you don't come like last time I'm docking you $140 plus 10% of the catering truck. I'm tired of you guys not coming when you're told to, it's why you're here. Imagine going to McDonald's and getting chicken nuggets and no fries. You're the fries, Craig. Now ducking come. You're the fries, Craig. Now ducking come. How much money am I willing to spend for a celebrity to say that on Cameo? Every day, another reason to mourn Gilbert Gottfried. Asian women sounding like they're being assaulted and people getting off on that. Sexualizing stepsisters and stepmoms. 50 years ago, the first thought was Cinderella when thinking of stepmoms and stepsisters. Today, this seems to have changed. The old scenario is no longer stuck in our mind. Edit, and of course there was a meme for this. And another. That you just start coming and you don't stop coming. And you don't stop coming and you don't stop coming and you don't stop coming. Furious finger banging. Just no. I feel like that has gone down over time. Late 90s early 2000s fingering was insane. Edit, the shit that ends up being one of my top comments. Sigh. Everyone know 2000s fingering was out of control. We were all trying to play through the fire and flames. Men averagely have 8 inch schlongs. Doesn't help that it always seems to be like the same 10 or so guys in all the videos. Or that the women are selected, at least partially, because they are small. Plus wide angle lenses make things dramatically bigger and rounder the closer they get to camera. Clever framing can make a grizzly bear look 15 tall, and so it works as well making above average guys look like they're packing straight up footlongs. GrizzlyExpeditions.com Omega Scombo 1.jpg Strictly in and out motion. I haven't been with a single woman that didn't like angles with varying pressures to stretch out the vaginal muscles. Also, in cowgirl a lot of women like to grind while you're fully inside. Not many like to jump up and down treating the dick like a pogo stick. Oh yes they love the dick breaker removal motion. That's my biggest detractor with grinding reverse cowgirl. It feels like I'm about to be broken off. Way too scared to enjoy it. I hate when in movies a girl has raw sex and then pulls her pants up and goes to work ha 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 eu. Incessant slapping of the vagina. Like, physically smacking the shit out of it with your hand. It's something me and my friends have laughed about and it does nothing for any of us. Edit yes. I know some people like it. There's no issue with that. Funny you mentioned this, my girlfriend actually suggested I do this to her. I haven't done it yet, but she seems to think it'll do something for her. Although, I'm pretty sure she wants light clit slaps, not hardcore vagina smacks. Hash finish her. Squirting. 